Welcome to the third video in the Test Suite series, Manage Multiple Test Suites. Ranarex Studio allows you to add multiple test suites to a project. This is especially useful when collaborating with others. We shall begin by creating a new test suite within an existing solution. To do so, we click on the Add Test Suite button. We then simply name and add the new test suite. The new test suite will open in a new tab, but is also visible in the Projects view and Ranarex Studio Projects folder. To rename or delete a test, use the context menu in the Projects view. To ensure the integrity of your project, you cannot cut, copy or paste an entire test suite. However, you can copy or move the contents of a test suite including test cases, smart folders, setup and teardown regions, and modules. Variable values and data bindings are preserved during move or copy operations, assuming that data is bound to global parameters available in the destination test suite, or the complete data environment is copied, i.e if data is bound to a parent test case or smart folder that is not part of the move or copy operation, the data binding will be lost. Variables and data binding are covered in more detail in the data-driven testing section of the user guide, a link to which can be found in the description of this video. Once a project contains at least two test suites, you can specify in what sequence they should run. We do this by clicking the arrow next to the Run button. Use the Order buttons to change the order in which the test suites run. Test suites can be excluded from the test run with the On-Off buttons. When a project contains at least two test suites, a test sequence file is created automatically. Double-clicking in the Projects view will open the file in its own tab. Square brackets enclose the test sequence file. Curly brackets enclose all configurations for one test suite. Multiple test suites are separated by a comma. Configuration arguments follow the syntax double quotation mark, double quotation mark, colon, double quotation mark, double quotation mark. Multiple parameters are separated by a comma. It is possible to execute tests from the command line. When doing so, you can pass a parameter to a command line argument. Please refer to the user guide for a list of command line arguments. A link to do so can be found in this video's description.